welcome. This is Melissa Armour with Stock Swoosh, and I thought I would review Adobe. Why? Well, because I gave an option call on Adobe prior to the earnings coming out that the stock would gap up. As it turns out, it actually did gap up on the earnings, but did not have the follow through in the gap, mainly due to the market. The market just collapsed the day of the Adobe earnings. Who knows why? It just did. But it definitely affected the stock because this is a market stock. This is way back here. So the earnings came out of the night of the 1210. In fact, I'm just gonna show you here where it actually was. 1210, I'm gonna show you, this is the, the actual earnings, the live earnings on 1210, this is the post market because it was at night. My call was just spot on to predict the stock would gap up on the earnings. However, what ended up happening was, okay, so this is the earnings, four o'clock, huge green bar, rallied, made a high of 94.42. And then on the, on the live day, the stock actually in the pre-market, well, no, it was the 15th. It was the 15th it took to get up over 95. That was the next number. So here was the earnings failed to go higher through that number on the earnings, but did make an all-time high. Then it took two days to get up here over the 95 number that I had. And the next number is 98, but it's not there yet. And, and it looks like it's gonna get there soon. Someone had emailed me about the fact that I had made this call and I had put it out to everyone on my marketing list. If you read the email that day, you saw it. And I said about the option call and I did an option in it. And I predicted the gap to gap up. I predicted the stock okay, to gap up on the earnings. That 100% happened. How I saw that has nothing to do with my system. It's my ability to be able to predict stocks and their price movements. But the gap didn't follow through on that day from where it opened due to the bearishness on the live day in the market. Some days will be times when stocks do not follow through, even if the gap rates well on the live day. What usually ends up happening though is if it continues the next day and follows through as a continuation gap. And that's exactly what Adobe did. So interestingly enough, it did follow through, it did go over the high of the high of the day of the gap of the earnings day, which was 93.65. It took two days, but it rallied the previous day. Anyways, the stock closed the night of the earnings at 88.96. I predicted it to gap up and it did. So it opened on the next day at 92.51. But remember, in the post market, it was up over that number more than that, over 93. So the stock actually gapped up like a good, you know, three, four bucks or whatever between the post market and the pre-market and the day of the earnings when it opened. Had a beautiful rally. It just took two days to get going. So when you do options trades, you have to be right for the timing. If you have an expiration date, which all options do. So you can either be tight, tight, tight with it or give yourself more time where you'll pay more money for the cost of the price of the option. It's up to you. Either way, the prediction I made for Adobe to gap up in the earnings came out to be true. The targets that I gave for Adobe to get to are still going to come out to get become true, but the timing of these things did not happen the exact day that I wanted it to, which was the previous day after the earnings, which was 12-11. And some person had the, had the gall, actually, to email me that he shorted the stock on that day in the option. That was an insane thing to do. The person obviously made money because the stock fell on the day on the actual live day, okay, it had a bearish bar, open rally, made a new high and then fell. If you shorted the stock on this day as a day trade, you made money. But was it the right thing to do? The answer is no. And the person had the gall that emailed me that I had made the call that it would rally, which it did, okay. But anyways, this person made money shorting it. This is a terrible short. This is a terrible, terrible, terrible short. And what I have found is one of the major problems with day traders or swing traders or any trader at all is that people will make money doing something that makes absolutely no sense and is a complete and total incorrect trade. And then they will keep making trades like that and end up obviously losing. It was a terrible trade to short Adobe the day of the earnings. Despite the fact the stock fell on the day and the market ran red on the day, the stock held in the first 15 minutes of the day as a short, set the low of the day in the first 15 minutes of the day and has set this low, which it has not fallen through since the day of 12-11 of the earnings open, which was 90-12. And the market's fallen a bunch of days in here. The stock actually made a brand new all-time high, even though the market is not. 
This stock is one of the strongest things in the market. Anyone that would short this stock, whether it's the day of the earnings or any day in here, is an idiot as far as I'm concerned. It's a terrible trade. It's a terrible call. And anyone that does that will not make money consistently. What you have to realize is that as a trader of any kind, day, swing, core, long-term investor, anything you decide to do in the market, there will be times that something doesn't work out that you predict will work out and does not work out. And sometimes there's no explanation why. Sometimes there is an explanation why. And the answer of Adobe, the reason that it gapped up turned out to be like I predicted. It did not go to the target that I predicted on the day of the earnings because of the reason, a real reason, which was the market, because Adobe is a market stock. But sometimes there's not a reason something doesn't work out. But if you have my ability to be able to make predictions of stocks before they gap and in the live gap, based on the 26 point rating system, you will consistently make money in the market. When you take pot shots at doing things like shorting Adobe the day of this, this trade, okay, on 12-11, the day that it opened, gapped up, made a new high and fell on the day, the person that shorted this, whoever that person was that made money, who by the way, I took off my list, okay, because I would never take on someone like that as a client. The fact is that it was a terrible trade and people that do these things do not consistently make money. The only way you have longevity in the market to do it as a full-time career or a part-time job or anything that you want to sustain you to be a, an investment that's worth your time and energy and effort and, and brain power is if you can learn a system that will consistently make you money. Shorting Adobe the day of the earnings may have made you money, but it's not consistently going to make you profitable as a trader of any kind. It was a terrible trade for anyone that did it. And what happens is, and I understand the way the brain works, when you make money doing something incorrectly, you tend to then associate with your mind that type of trade, and you will repeat it in your mind that you made money doing X, Y, Z, like shorting Adobe this day, and do it over and over and over and over and over again, and give back thousands and hundreds of thousands of dollars to the market by doing poor quality trades just because the one day you made a trade that made you money. But that's not what I do. I take quality trades based on a 26 point rating system that predicts what the stock's going to do. Every once in a while they don't work and that is part of trading. Anyone that does this for a living or anyone that does this at all has to accept that and be willing to accept that without losing conviction in their system. As it turned out, my prediction the stock would gap up and make a new high was right on the day. My prediction it would follow through was correct as well. This stock is actually moving ahead of the market and is a great, amazing, fantastic long. And as far as I'm concerned, anyone that would short this stock at all today, yesterday, last week, the day of the earnings, the day before that is an idiot. And if you made money shorting it, you will give that profit back to the market and a thousand times over more. Because at the end of the day, you cannot short a chart like this, like Adobe. It is an amazing chart. It is moving faster than the market. And it is a market stock and what I would consider a market leader. Know that if you want to be successful, you've got to learn to trade from someone that reads charts correctly, like me. And if you are able to do that and have the confidence and conviction to come to me and pay for my Golden Gap class and learn from me, you will make money consistently over your entire life. It's not just about one day. It's about Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, January, February, March through the end of the calendar year, 2015, 2016, and for the rest of your life. Have a great day, everyone. The next Golden Gap class is January 9th and 10th. Email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com and have a fantastic day.